the, the UFC and MMA in general is a steroid epidemic. The UFC has retained the United States Anti-Doping Agency, USADA, as the independent administrator for a new drug testing policy. They have started this like really stringent testing and everybody's getting popped. They just get popped left and right. Title challenger Chad Mendez was suspended for two years after being flagged by USADA. USADA bans Lyota Machida for 18 champion Chris Overdoom has been suspended. You want to get a job with some job security in the next several decades, get into the anti-doping movement. John Jones uh, tested positive for Torinaba. Why did he take EPOs? The potential that some, you know, any fighter on a roster now has the potential they could be caught or could be major fights that fall out. Who's the most elite athlete in the UFC? UFC. I think Yoel yeah. Romero. Yes. Whatever he's hydrating on, I would like to know so that I can also hydrate on that because it turns you superhuman just about. Because when I was punching and kicking him, it like felt like metal, like, like a dude made out of concrete. It was ridiculous. You know what the people take it after the fight, uh, after the training? To recover. Yeah, water, sugar. Wow. And any health concerns after the knockout? Do you feel okay overall? My legs pretty pretty jacked up. Man, man felt like cement. He caught me on the first check, and I kept, I kept kicking it. I don't know. Man, the man felt like cement. That's all I got to say. Dude, he's fighting uh, he's such a freak. Uh, fucking homeboy. The other guy. Yes. Yeah, I know. Like, Paul Acosta. Like he said um, that, that Hugh Paolo is, is 100% on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. I looked at his body, I thought, what the fuck? Dude, he's so jacked. He's jacked in shape. Good look, might be the best looking dude in the UFC. Maybe the best looking dude on the planet. When, when, <laughs> he's right up there. Paulo Costa is the juiciest slut on the roster. It's the same as your Romero. If you're arguing that they're not on drugs, you're arguing that they didn't fail a test. Paulo Costa, fucking eraser, dude. That guy's scary. Even hey, post USADA well, scary. Hold up. is a teenage mutant ninja turtle, a genetic marvel. The guy is a borderline superhuman. You don't look at you don't him, man, in his 40s. There's no one at your gym like this. There's no fucker in my gym like that. He's a fucking beast. Genetic freak. You saw this going to be all over this, aren't they? You saw that can take a coffee break. I thought the fight was happening in Mexico, so... They and I, they just go in there and damage each other. Of George Masterville, <laughs> or vice versa. That wasn't a hit. If you're hitting balls over a wall with a stick, who gives a shit if you're using steroids? But if you're in here fighting, you know, another human being. That much stronger, that much faster than, than they might be, it's very dangerous.
So ladies and gentlemen, UFC 241 happening tonight or early hours, depending where you are in the world. Ramiro versus Costa. USADA, take a goddamn coffee break.